After almost a year of thinking I couldn't create a passphrase using my Tangem wallet, I was gladly proven wrong. You can either import an existing passphrase or create a brand new one directly in the Tangem app. And this is great news because a passphrase is a simple and quick way to improve your wallet security but there are some risks involved. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up a passphrase using your Tangent Wallet along with a bunch of other tips you need to know. And if you're thinking about getting a Tangent Wallet or maybe getting another Tangent Wallet, make sure to use my discount code CYBERSKRILLA at checkout to get 10% off your order. Now let's talk Tangent. Now before I show you how to set up a passphrase on your Tangent Wallet, it's super important that we understand exactly what a passphrase is, how it boosts our wallet security, and how it can be a huge risk. A passphrase is an additional word or phrase that you add to your existing C phrase to create a completely new wallet, often called a hidden wallet. And this means you can use one seed phrase to generate as many hidden wallets as you want to. There's literally no limit to how many hidden wallets or how many passphrases you can create. Okay, so how does a passphrase actually increase your wallet security? Well, let's say you accidentally give up your seed phrase to a scammer, or maybe you fall victim to the $5 wrench attack that everyone seems to talk about where someone goes and buys a $5 wrench at the store, and then they threaten to beat you up if you don't give them your seed phrase. Well, this is exactly where your passphrase will protect you because you can give someone your seed phrase, uh, not that you should ever do that, but if you gave someone your seed phrase and they didn't know your passphrase, they won't be able to access your hidden wallet. They'll only have access to that main seed phrase wallet. So assuming you don't have all your crypto stored on your seed phrase, but rather some of it on your hidden wallet as well, they'll have no idea that that hidden wallet even exists. And then you can just give them your passphrase and you'll still keep a majority of your crypto. And again, I'm not saying that you should ever give up your seed phrase. You need to keep it secure. You need it on hand, especially because if you create a passphrase, you need your seed phrase to access your passphrase. But I'm just saying in a worst case scenario where you might accidentally expose your seed phrase or you have to give it up because someone's threatening your life, then this is where a passphrase comes into play. But there is a huge downside to using your passphrase as well because it's basically an extension of your seed phrase. If you forget your passphrase, even one number, one letter in your passphrase, then you will not be able to access your passphrase wallet. So it's just as important to keep your passphrase secure as it is to keep your seed phrase secure. And I can't emphasize how important it is to record every single detail of your passphrase because you can create a passphrase using any character, special characters, numbers, uh, they're case sensitive and spaces matter. So if you'd miss one space in your passphrase, then you're going to be accessing a different wallet when you go to access. So you want to record it exactly how you create it. And passphrases can be up to about 100 characters. So depending on how robust you make it, it can be pretty difficult to remember. So you definitely want to write it down and store it in a safe place. That said, creating a passphrase with your Tangent Wallet is super easy. You basically just go through the standard setup process, but this time you want to enter whatever passphrase you want to use. And the best part is, assuming you're using your Tangent Wallet already with a seed phrase, you can still create a passphrase for it. However, if you're using a seedless wallet, then you will not be able to use the passphrase option. Uh, that said, let me show you exactly how to set up your passphrase using your Tangent Wallet. First things first, if you're using a Tangent Wallet that's already set up, make sure you have your seed phrase handy because you're going to need it and you're going to need to go into the settings, tap card settings, and then do a factory reset on your cards because again, we have to start from the beginning. That said, if you're setting up a new set of cards, you just scan the cards on the Tangent app and we'll just go through the normal setup process. So once you scan your cards in the Tangent app, again, you're starting with a fresh set of cards, tap other options, and then we want to select import wallet. Now in this first box, this is where you want to enter your seed phrase in chronological order. So if you have a 12 word seed phrase, you want to enter it left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. For this example, I'm entering a 12 word seed phrase. Once your seed phrase is entered correctly, just go down to the passphrase section here. And here you can either enter an existing passphrase if you already have one associated with the seed phrase you just entered above, or if you want to create a new passphrase, simply type in whatever you want it to be, and then the system will create it for you once you tap import. Now let's just say I want my passphrase to be, I love pizza. Super simple passphrase, just for this example, don't make it this simple. So after you type in what you want your passphrase to be, you just tap import, and then you'll need to scan one of your cards. Then you'll have to scan your backup cards as well. And then once you're done adding your backup cards, you just tap finalize the backup. And finally, you get to create an access code for your cards and activate them by scanning each one. 
And once that's done, your hidden wallet is all set up and ready to go. But there's more to managing a passphrase than you might think, especially when it comes to your Tangent wallet. And since your passphrase isn't stored on the app or anywhere, if you forget it, then you lose access to your wallet. So it's important to know how to manage your passphrase and safely switch between wallets when you need to. So here are two important things you need to know to manage your passphrase securely. First, let's talk about where your passphrase is stored. When you generate or import a seed phrase on your Tangent wallet, it's transformed into to a private master key that's then transferred to the secure element chip on your card where it's safely stored offline. So the seed phrase isn't stored anywhere on your phone or in the Tangem app, it's essentially erased. So when you set up a passphrase, it's combined with your seed phrase to create a unique private master key, which is then stored on the secure element chip in your card. This means your passphrase isn't stored anywhere either. And that's why it's so important to make sure that you record it correctly. Because again, I'm gonna keep saying it, if you forget it, you will lose access to that hidden wallet. Second thing, you don't need to enter your passphrase every time you use your card because that private master key that's generated from your seed phrase and passphrase combo is securely stored on the card. So anytime you access it, you just scan your card and you're good to go. That said, if you wanna manage or access multiple different wallets, such as your original seed phrase or maybe another hidden wallet that you create, you do need to factory reset your cards every time, which is kind of a pain. Or the easiest thing to do is just to use a completely separate set of cards so you can just get another set of tangent cards and then following the steps in this next video, you can manage multiple Tangem wallets in your Tangem app. I'll see you in that video. Peace out.